All right, well, hello everybody. Welcome to another Payday 2 video. Today we're gonna be talking about DLCs that I think you should buy. I'm gonna take a sip of water here for a second. All right, so we've done. Let's see here. Uh, the Yakuza pack, Gage Silvery pack, the Point Break heist, the Goat Simulator, all of these. By the way, apparently my Steam is very slow for some odd reason. I don't know why. It's probably because I have it at 120 frames per second. I don't know why. Actually, you guys can see the slowness. Anyways, we're going to go into the Wolf Pack. The 31st DLC. This DLC is actually pretty interesting. So, let's see here. When was it released? Uh, February 11th, 2016. We're currently in 2016. Now, the reason why this DLC is so special is because it's actually free for certain people, actually. For certain people. So, the way that this DLC works, it brings back two new classics. Or, not two new. But it breeds two classics. It brings Counterfeit and Undercover from Pay the Heist. Also brings a new weapon, the China Puff, uh, which is probably one of the best grenade launchers in my opinion. Moving on from that, it brings in, let's see here, a nail gun, two new songs, four masks, you know, the usual. But it brings in two heists, a grenade launcher, and that's really about it. So, but it is free for anybody who owned the DLC... Uh, from P Pay the Heist. Now, I don't know if it still works now, where if you own that DLC from Pay the Heist that you get the free DLC, because if that happens, then that's entirely, like, free DLC. But, I don't know. But, yeah. It just brings in, you know, two new, or, uh, the two classic heists, new grenade launcher, new melee weapon, four masks, and everything. So, why is this DLC so good? Well, because the heists are really fun. If you're one of those people who really do like heists and love playing them, this is this is really one for you. Counterfeit is set up where y you go in, you find this guy, you gotta find his, his his safe. Once you find that safe, you gotta drill it, put water in it, then explode it. Take all the little little loose items, the the, uh, the diamonds, but also get the plates. But he does have a printing machine. With that printing machine, you can print counterfeit money, which apparently is worth more than regular money. I I don't know how. How does that make any sense, Overkill? I don't understand. But it's really fun and you can it's a continuous process so it's like cook off. Then you have undercover, which is you got to find a tax man. You uh, basically as you can see here, you take the limo, goes into the roof, and then you just have to get the tax man over to the computer. And then you got to put in a bunch of different passwords, but also fight other cops at the same time. And there's two ways. There's two stairwells. And once all of that's done, you got to go to the airlift, get out, and then you're good to go. So the really fun heist, the grenade launcher is really good in my opinion. Uh, the nail gun isn't really something to talk about, but it, just, it makes a little fun staple sound, which is really fun. But... It'd be really cool if you could shoot nails out of it, but oh well. There's mods for that. But I do recommend getting this DLC. So moving on to the next one here. Moving on to the next one here. We got uh we got the Sydney pack. Now the Sydney pack is very interesting. Uh in terms of I don't think it is actually interesting. I don't know if it is, but the Sydney pack comes with the character Sydney. Uh she's Australian. And she's got more of that punk kind of feel. So if you like, I don't know, a punk rock lady person, go for it. I get, I don't know. I mean, whatever f floats your boat, man. Whatever floats your boats. But no, she's pretty fun. Uh, new perk deck, which is uh, Anarchist, I'm pretty sure. Last time I checked is how you say it. And, well... It's an interesting perk deck. You basically get less health but more armor. This is more in the balance of more armor players, I guess. And each time you kill someone, you regenerate armor. Uh, the perk deck is a bit odd and probably needs to get being or like if you are not used to it, it's gonna get some time to get used to it. But I don't know. It could be useful if you're more of an armor person. 
moving on from that, we have the bootleg assault rifle. This one is not really something to talk about, but it's an alright assault rifle. Got the butterfly knife, doesn't really need to be talked about, the new mask. So, if you're more of an armor type person, I would definitely recommend getting this DLC. It just takes time to uh, get used to. And the problem is, is that your health, you know, you're basically getting rid of health for armor. So you gotta, gotta debate on if you want that, but it's an alright DLC. And now we're moving on into the two DLCs here, which is the Biker Heist here, or the Biker Carriage Pack, my bad. Now, the Biker Character Pack, or what I like to call the Ron Perlman Pack, uh, you get a new character, Ron Perlman, and you get the Biker Perk Deck. Now, the Biker Perk Deck uh, basically rewards you, like, health and, I guess, armor. Like, you have to go watch Almir's video explaining how the Perk Deck works, because I forgot how it exactly works, but I'm pretty sure, like, if your teammates help you, you can help them. I don't... It's, it's a confusing process. But the Breaker 12 gauge shotgun. Now, the Breaker 12 gauge shotgun is actually a really good primary shotgun, in my opinion. Uh, it's basically a lower down version of any double barrel shotgun in terms of ammo. Uh, in, yeah, total ammo, but your magazine is increased. So, but it's a really good shotgun, in my opinion. Moving on from that, the chain whip doesn't really matter, and rust masks doesn't really matter. But, yeah, it's an alright DLC. Uh, I usually recommend it just to get that shotgun, and, you know, to try out the perk deck. Uh, let's see, moving on from here, we got the biker heist. We got the biker heist, right here. Right here. So, it's an elephant heist, and it's a two-day heist. And the first day is the lion's den. Basically, you go into a biker club to save Russ's biker guy to get his bike. And then you got to go rob a train. How these two even, like, I don't, I don't know how, like, they connect exactly. But, yeah, it, 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 it's there. It's, it's there. Uh, new SMG. It's an all right SMG. It just loses ammo very quickly, but the uh, the damage is all right. New throwable, nothing to really go like rave about. New masks, new achievements, new Simon Vicklin tracks, and the heists are pretty fun. I really do like the train one, but yeah, that's about it. Nothing really to talk about there. And uh, that's about it. Wow, quickest video I've done about DLC. Now I've been thinking I've been thinking recently that I should do more of like a in the future talking about one specific pack like sh showing it in game and like you know trying to trying to show you like what it's all about in game and such you know or I'll probably like do two DLCs like soundtracks will probably combine you know like do two DLCs maybe but I don't know if you guys like that idea let me know in the comments and, uh, yep, that's about it for me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out some reviews on the channel. There should be a live stream coming up soon. Uh, a recorded one, not, not actually a live stream. Those are only on the weekends. So, yep, but that's about it. So, see you in the next video. Stay safe and have fun.